So, if you guys own a 6.9 IDI and your glow plug controller, your mechanical one, decided to crap out on you, I feel bad for you because most likely it completely toasted up all your glow plugs and you're, you know, thinking about running a push button or a big old toggle switch. Heck, maybe even just putting two wires together. Well, we have a solution here at Hi-Ho Stable Garage and you can still find the parts and it's not going to cost you a lot of money. So, yeah, let's get at it. We're going to show you what I did to the 69 IDI to run a 7.3 IDI glow plug controller. All right, let's get into it. Welcome to Hi-Ho Stable Garage. So, what happens a ton on these old IDIs is the old 6.9 version of the glow plug controller is a completely mechanical unit. It basically uses coolant pressure to figure out when it's going to cycle your plugs. Parts go bad because they're mechanical components. They wear out. But when you go to change them, a lot of the times it breaks off in the head and it's just a complete mess. So what some guys do when they're done, can't get anything out of them, they just stop working. You don't know what's going on. Who even knows how to fix those things? What a lot of guys do is they just completely bypass that unit. And there's a little wire over here that basically you plug into, you'll run a toggle switch or push button. And that wires this one right here. So I'm over on the passenger fender here. This is the glow plug controller for the 6.9 IDI. Normally this little guy is plugged in here, but I'll get to why he's not on there right now. But this purple wire connects right here. If you wanted to connect a switch, you would normally just basically plumb your switch right into that. That's just a live signal to run your glow plugs. Easy peasy if you wanted to run a switch. But well, we're not running a switch here. We're running a glow plug controller that will run off the key and basically figure out itself during different climates. I'll show you guys what I got going on here. It involves a little tiny bit of wiring, but it's not so bad. Here we go. Let's... Uh tuck in our little buddy with uh, our Mac tools, car cover, works really good. Let's me step on the bumper here without scratching her up. You know, I would ask myself, what's Vice Grip Garage likely doing right now? But then I got the answer for myself. I'm pretty sure he's working on an old Ford. So we're going to take off our air cleaner. First off, shove that stuff out of the way so we can get at the tasty glow plug controller that's hidden out back. So there we go, there's the glow plug controller for the 7.3 IDI on the 6.9. Normally you would have a mechanical one right here. Right here, this is your main power in, this post right here, and these ones go down to your glow plugs. This is a, a little metal metallic strip that heats up, that's normally supposed to heat up, then basically you have this stuff going down to a solid state. There's a solid state controller underneath. And then right here, this is one of your other powers, another signal power. So if you want to work with this, this all is the easiest thing to do. If you want to do this real simple like, take a 7.3 engine harness, that's what I did, and it will plug into your controller. Your controller will be able to bolt all the way at the back. No problems there. Where it gets a little complicated, guys, is just where it connects up to the engine and the chassis. They're not the same connectors. The 7.3 glow plug harness or engine harness controller has a couple different wires in it than the 6.9, two of which being your water temperature light and the other one being your water temperature sweep gauge. Normally, they're run through the harness, uh, at least on the 83 model, they're run through a, a separate harness that goes across. On my 85, they're actually in the engine harness, so your mileage may vary. The main thing that you wanna do is you wanna get power to our glow plug controller and basically signal power from your key. So on this engine, on my harness, I have big yellow and big orange go into my glow plug controller those are my main powers 
on my 6.9 harness, it's my two thick wires. They're like a beige on mine. Might be an orange, whatever. They're, they're your thick ones. They're like a, an 8 or a 10 gauge. You got two of them. Why are those suckers in together? Now that you have your controller over there and all your grounds are set up on your engine bay and you have your main powers, you're going to be left with a few extra wires depending on what you had. On mine, I had my controller wire for my wait to start light. I had my coolant heat light and I had my coolant temperature sweep gauge. And then when it came to the 6.9 side, all what you have to do is on your 6.9 glow plug relay under here you you would normally have your main power coming in your controller wire your ground wire and then these would go out to your glow plugs this basically is now powering that it's just so then you don't have to completely rewire this whole entire thing just move your hot power over to the other side of your solenoid and you're basically using it as a junction post and yeah, that's about it. I'll make sure I put a lot of diagrams in this so you guys can follow along on what exactly I did to this thing. But in reality, it's just moving a couple wires around and it's not very hard at the end of the day. I'm gonna put this whole engine kind of back together real quick and then we're gonna hop inside the cab and we're gonna turn that key, let those glow plug cycle and uh, Bob's your uncle, it should start right up. So just give me a quick second there. So yeah, there you go guys. So all we're gonna do you just turn your key. On this, the weight, the start light's gonna stay on. It's one of the problems with this truck. But we can audibly hear the click when the glow plug, basically the metallic strip is up to temp. And you'll hear it. And we can shut it off. There it is. So we're gonna turn our key and it should fire right up. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This worked out great. It starts every time, start it any time in the cold, and it's never gonna fail on you and burn out your plugs. It can still fail on you, yeah, but it's not gonna completely shoot all your plugs out. That's $150 brand new for eight glow plugs in Canadian. Yikes, not good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this guy this helped you. I'll put the wiring diagram up again on the screen. So hopefully. If you guys want to copy paste, you can figure that out. Now, your mileage may vary. If you burn down your vehicle, it's not my fault. But I hope it helped you at the end of the day. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. All right, see ya.